Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot for the visit. Theobard say he has the money and they will disburse soon. Listen, we'll see you at the other end. Listen to this broadcast. In Theobard Global Foundation, greetings to all of you from Professor Theophilus Oloche Ebony. On behalf of Professor Theophilus Oloche Ebony, to drop a message for all at Theobad Global Foundation. A man that is so busy with the activities, a man with a mandate, the only grand handler in grand community in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, standing gallantly well, preparing seriously to put a smile on the faces of Nigeria. So Theophilus Oloche Ebony wishes to uh, inform all of you that Theobad Global Foundation, by the grace of God, is doing everything humanly possible to make sure that all of you smile in subsequent days to come. He has tried his best to see how this can be delivered even before Salah celebration, but due to some uh, unforeseen contingencies that arises on a daily basis, he was not able to meet up. But nevertheless, he asked me to tell you that never you give up on your faith and on your hope for your religion. He asked me to tell you that at this point of your life, um, unforeseen contingencies that are all over everywhere, he couldn't meet up with the disbursement before Salah celebration. But nevertheless, Salah, another Salah, another Salah is coming. And he want to assure all of you that even though you don't use the disbursement for this Salah celebration, in no distant time from now, counting, you will definitely use the money to do other better things for your life and even subsequent Salah celebration ahead of you coming. So I wish all of you best of luck today. All the participants of Theobat Grant all over the Federation of Nigeria and other African countries of uh, the African continent, Ghana, Kenya, Gambia, South Africa, that all partnering with Theobat Global Foundation, best of luck and best of wishes. Thank you. And this message is coming directly from the decks of Theobat Global Foundation, Professor Theophilus Oloche Ebony, the man that loves everybody, the man without discrimination, with the man without sentiment, the man that cares for everybody. Muslims, Christians, whether you are Hindus, whether you are any religion at all, it doesn't matter. Theobad Global Foundation is out to put a smile on the faces of everybody. Nobody has the mandate except Professor Theophilus or Lauche Ebony. It is very clear all over the Federation of Nigeria, even those that say Theo Bat does not have a mandate, they are now coming back to Professor Theophilus Oloche Ebony. Because one thing you know, and you should know, is that no matter how powerful the darkness is, it can never overshadow the light. No matter how noisy the darkness may be, light is light, and light cannot be overtaken by darkness. Theobat is a light in grand community and is out for something positive for everybody. For those who acknowledge and recognize Theobat Global Foundation, it's no longer a news for anybody to come out and say Theobat want to this boss. It is an old news. Everybody is fully aware that Theobat has a mandate and that mandate is from God. No matter what the devil is doing, no matter what anyone is doing, fighting this mandate, God, God in heaven will definitely bring it to be a reality. The devil has failed and the devil came too late. I am so excited. I am so happy to be part of Theobad Global Foundation. Honestly, I am so excited. The news I am hearing from Professor Theophilus Oloche Ebony is mouth-watering news and i will keep celebrating and thanking god almighty for making me to be part of theobat grant not partially fully part of theobat global foundation so those of you 
running from pillar to pole best of luck to you anyways you have listened to him time will tell they said next week there will be disbursement i hope he will not come and tell us another story although i'm not saying us because i'm not in tuba grant i'm just a beneficiary in a uaag grant uh, which they are telling us now that is agpn that has the money that uag does not have the money we don't care who has the money all we know is we need the money so guys let's keep our fingers crossed time will tell lights may come out and be dominant but with time the truth will be preeminent see you on the other side